Hello everyone. So till now we have seen two types of chemical reactions. So let's see the third type of chemical reaction which is displacement reaction. Now even metals like to show their power and suppress the weaker metals. And this is what displacement reaction is. There are some metals which are highly reactive than the other metals. So these reactive metals displaces the less reactive metals from their compounds and this type of reaction is called as displacement reaction. So let's understand this displacement reaction by a simple activity. Now I have an iron nail here and I'm going to put this iron nail in the copper sulfate solution. We will keep it for 20 minutes. Let's fast forward this 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you are going to see that the iron nail, which was first very clear, now has a brown coating on it. And the color of copper sulfate solution, which was initially blue, has now turned to light green. What has happened here? The iron, which is more reactive than copper, has displaced the copper from its solution and become iron sulfate. So you see, the copper has get deposited on the iron nail. So the reaction which has occurred is iron when reacted with copper sulphate formed iron sulphate and copper was deposited on the iron nail. So this was a simple reaction which showed that a highly reactive metal can displace a lesser reactive metal from its compound. There are many other examples like that. You can see when zinc reacts with copper sulphate, it gives zinc sulphate and copper is separated out. In a similar way, lead reacts with copper chloride to form lead chloride and copper gets separated out. So you see, iron, zinc and lead are more reactive than copper. They can displace copper from its solution. Now there is another type of reaction which we call as double displacement reaction. Now double displacement reaction follows a very simple rule which says if you replace me, I'll replace you. The metals belonging to two different solutions replace each other from their respective solution. In such type of reaction, exchange of ions takes place between the reactants. And this type of reactions we call as double displacement reaction. One of the common example of double displacement reaction is the reaction between barium chloride and sodium sulfate. Barium sulfate and sodium chloride are formed. Now you can also see in this reaction that there is a formation of white insoluble substance in the water which remains in the bottom of the test tube. This type of substance is called as precipitate. The reactions in which precipitate is formed is also called as precipitation reaction. So you see you can see the reaction in which sodium sulphate has reacted with barium chloride to form barium sulphate and sodium chloride. Well, the white precipitate are of barium sulphate which are formed by the sulphate and the barium ions. The sodium chloride remains dissolved in the solution. Let's see another example of double displacement reaction which is the reaction of lead nitrate with the potassium iodide. So it results in the formation of lead iodide which is in form of yellow color PPT and potassium nitrate solution. So you see, we have seen the displacement reaction and in that we have also seen what is double displacement reaction. We have also seen what is precipitate and what are precipitation reaction. In the next video, we are going to see the fourth type of chemical reaction which is oxidation and reduction.